This is another segment of Cows in Space, and I'm just trying to teach the concepts of space and shape using cows, because they are very interesting subjects when it comes to these concepts in art. And um, it's not, of course, cows in outer space. It's talking about some other concepts in art that we use quite frequently. And today I'm going to talk to you about contour drawing. There's a couple of different types of contour drawing. Um, this one is a lot of fun. Today we're going to actually start with this type of contour drawing, which is just basically putting anything that you want to, because you won't be erasing, so you can use anything that you want to draw with, on the paper, and you don't pick up the uh, the writing utensil until you're done with the entire shape. So you're looking at the outside contours of the shape. So basically it's almost kind of like drawing a silhouette. You're looking for the really important details in the shape, keeping your utensil down on the paper until you're done. Now blind contour drawing is a little bit different because instead of looking at what you're drawing back and forth, um, looking at the picture and your own, you actually only look at the picture and you can hold a piece of paper over your hand, but blind contour drawing means you can't see it until you're finished. And maybe I'll do one of those near the end of the video. So I'm going to just use a pen and I wanted to show you some of the cow pictures that I found so you can get an idea of what I'm looking at when I'm trying to draw the picture. I'm going to start with a really simple one. It's just the head of the cow. And you can see that I have a couple of different sheets of paper here, scratch paper. Um, that's because I'm going to try to take up the whole paper as I'm drawing because I like to use my space. I don't like to have a lot of negative space in my paper. I think I'm going to start about right here with the cow and go over the top of the cow's head. And a lot of times with contour drawings, people will draw loops. And there's the eye. I'm doing some of the shape on the nose. Of course, the nose on the cow is going to be kind of important. The cow's mouth. And you'll see sometimes that when you're doing this, your um, drawing will be a little lopsided, especially if you're doing blind contour drawing. I don't know if I got the eye in the right spot. Oh, it's not too bad. And then we'll get the other ear, which may go off the paper a little bit. The idea is not to pick up your pen. So there's a blind contour drawing of this cow right here. I'm going to go ahead and practice with another picture. This one's got a little more detail in it. It's the whole cow and the cow is lying down. It's going to be tricky to use my whole paper for this one. Okay, so um, just like before, I think I want to start with the top of the head. Um, I think that kind of gives me an idea of how big the body needs to be. When I'm drawing, I look at the distance of something I start with to kind of keep it in proportion. That means to keep the size right. So if I do the top of the head first, then there'll probably be one, two, three, four, five different um, lengths of the head to get through the, to the end of the cow. I don't know if that makes any sense. I was just looking at my puppy because my puppy just woke up and he's making some noise over there. So again, I'm gonna start from this the top part of the cow's head and I don't know if you'll know if it's a cow if he doesn't have the ear and I'm going back over the shape of the ear because I didn't like the way the shape turned out the first time kind of like when you're sketching and the distance of the cow come around the cow's back legs you see I'm not picking up my pen. It stays on 
my paper. And then the front legs kind of tuck under, and they're pretty far away from the head now. And I am keeping my pen on my paper so that you can see that it does cause some extra lines on there. Now I need to go back to where the ear starts and bring the cow's snout back down again. And I'm trying to make that a little bit darker by going over it. Bring the ear back out. Eh, not too bad. Not the best. Um, I could have gone in and put some detail where the tail would be. I could have gone in and added the eyes without picking up my pen. So just a couple of critiques there. And then the last thing I was going to do is the blind contour. And I think I'm going to do that with this cow right here. So. I am only going to look at the cow. I'm not really sure how I can cover up my hand, unless I pause for a second, I'll find something. Okay, I'm back, and my dog is getting a little squirrely here, so you might hear him make some noise. Um, I found this little towel, and I am going to hide my own hand under there so I can't see it. i got to move my pen so I can draw with it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to draw this cow, which I'm doing right now. I'm going to do it really quickly, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how blind contouring works. And we're going to contour that cow. I'm going to hope it hides my hand. Oh, I see it peeked out a little bit. But I just wanted you to get the idea. Let's see how bad. Oh Lord, have mercy. Blind contour drawing is a lot of fun. So this was blind contour drawing. And this was just plain contour drawing of this cow right here. Give it a try. I want to see what you, what you do. I want to see your creations.